A coalition of civil societies has cautioned the Ocean State government to decline assent to a bill passed by the State House of Assembly seeking to increase emoluments of political office holders. And this is as the group decried numerous political appointments made so far by Governor Adelike's administration, saying their appointments with salaries accrued and not beneficial to the state, but rather a financial burden. Executive Director of the group, Professor Wasiu Oyedoku Ali, equally called on Governor Delicate to defend his promise on efficiency by explaining which fund is being approved to construct local government roads and why the councils themselves cannot do the same with their allocations. We call on Governor Delicate to decline assent to this obnoxious bill as it seeks to overburden the already overstretched resources of our alien state. The governor must say no to this bill in the interest of the people and deploy whatever resources the state has to the welfare of workers whose salaries have already become seriously inadequate and the common man on the streets who is so currently struggling to survive. Recently, however, the state government released a list of roads it has approved for construction and we were shocked to discover that they are all local government roads. Why are the local governments not constructing the roads themselves? With whose resources is the state government constructing these roads? I think in the same climb, the consideration for increment in the remuneration of political office holders should be after other indices have been ticked. In a situation whereby we're having so high rates of inflation, where the take home of an average civil servant cannot even take them home, where an average hard-working citizen of the country and by essential that of the state cannot fit themselves. Consideration for increment in salaries or a monument of political office orders should be the least of concerns for now. Perhaps only after the minimum wage has been considered and has started being paid, when there is a reduction in the cost of living of an average citizen of the state, only then can a serious group of people as so honored as the House of Assembly I should be thinking of considering increments in the emoluments of public office order. And that's why we are calling on them to have a rescind in their decision or in their opinion on that bill. And if I thought the bill has been passed, the governor should deny assent to that bill until other indices have been taken care of.